The first set of spoilers from the next Legends of Runeterra expansion have been revealed, and the spoilers consist of a brand new ability being added to the game along with a few units showcasing that ability, including a brand new champion. After announcing that the full release of the game would be on April 30th, along with a brand new set of over 120 cards just three days ago, Riot is wasting no time kicking off spoiler season. In this video, we'll be covering the very first champion revealed from the next set, Quinn, as well as the new keyword known as Scout. We'll be talking about what Quinn does, how she works when she's in play, how the new Scout keyword works in game along with the other spoilers shown, and I'll also be giving some initial thoughts on how Quinn should probably be played and how these new spoilers could affect the metagame. I want to preface this by saying I'm going to be very cautious when it comes to making meta predictions. It's fun to do. But we all need to keep in mind that we haven't seen any of the other cards in the set yet. So it's very difficult to say whether Quinn or Scout will be good or not because we only have the base set to go off of. Not the other 120 or so cards we haven't even seen yet that will collectively change the meta. Anyway, let's get right into it. So let's start with Quinn. Quinn is a 5 mana champion in the Demacia region. She has 3 power and 4 health at level 1. She has the new scout ability I just mentioned, and when you play Quinn, she summons Valor, a 2 mana follower with 2 power and 1 health, that also has scout as well as challenger. In order for Quinn to level up, you must attack 4 times while she's in play. Now 4 times sounds like a lot, but that's where the new scout mechanic comes into play. The way scout works is that if all of your attackers are scout units the first time you attack each round, you get to ready your attack again. Which basically means you get to rally. Which is another keyword in the game that grants you an attack token during a round that allows you to attack. Even if you weren't the attacker in that round. And we get another card teased along with the new scout keyword, Grizzled Ranger, which is a 4 mana follower with 4 power and 1 health, has scout, and has a last breath ability that summons loyal badger bear whenever grizzled ranger dies which riot revealed on twitter to be a 4-4 follower for three mana but with no other abilities but anyway let's get back to quinn when she levels up she has four power and five health keeps her scout ability and whenever she attacks she summons valor and valor automatically challenges the strongest enemy Strongest meaning whichever enemy unit has the highest power on your opponent's board. So with the way scout works, if Quinn is in play and you have a Demacia deck that has a bunch of units with the scout ability, you should be able to get two attacks off the turn you play Quinn. Now, she is a 3-4, which I would say is a slightly below average stat line for a 5 drop. Given that we have stuff like Thresh, and more importantly, since he's also in Demacia, Garen as well. She also doesn't have any other ability like Barrier or Quick Attack to help protect her from damage either. So, when you first play Quinn, that first attack you make with Scout units might have to be without Quinn just to keep her safe. And then she might be able to jump in on the second attack depending on what your opponent has left. That said, it's tougher to deal 4 damage in this game with just one card, at least with the base set of cards we have right now. So she's not exactly frail either. I do think her level 2 is pretty good though. Valor will help protect Quinn by challenging bigger attackers, forcing your opponent to use smaller units to block Quinn. Now this is something you can do with challenger units anyway, but the extra Valor that comes into play doesn't cost you an extra card, and this could snowball if you already had other Valors in play from earlier. It's like getting free Fleet Feather trackers that automatically challenge the most threatening units your opponent has. Next, let's talk about the other scout cards that were revealed with Quinn. And let's start off by going back to one that we showed earlier in the video, Grizzled Ranger. We talked about the stats before, and what makes this one scary is the fact that when Grizzled Ranger dies, you summon a 4-4 loyal badger bear. Uh, I think this card has quite a bit of potential. It trades with most of the other cards that have been popular at the same mana cost, and even some above its cost. It kind of reminds me of Curse Keeper, the 2 mana 1-1 one, one that can't block, but also summons a 4-4 when it dies. Grizzled Ranger actually can block though, so that's something else opponents have to consider when dealing with it. 
it isn't really weak to ping effects like Vile Feast or one ones like the spider tokens that a lot of slower decks are playing right now either thanks to the last breath effect the more i think about it the more i believe this could be a major player in the metagame depending on what else is in the new set it does come out a little slower than curse keeper though so we have to ask ourselves whether or not a 4-4 after ranger dies would still hold up in the mid game i think it does but that's just based off of the existing cards we have now Let's talk about Green Fang Warden next. 3 mana, 2 power, and 2 health. So the stats are below average for a 3 drop since ideally people look for a total of 6 stats when deciding what 3 drop to play among other things. Usually when you see a unit like this, it has to make up for its lower stats with its abilities. In this case, Green Fang Warden is an elite, has barrier, and has scout. Elite tribal cards haven't really been strong enough to make up a deck that's actually viable up until this point. In fact, an actual elite tribal deck in the current meta would be worse than just playing better quality cards in a normal Demacia deck supported by Vanguard Bannerman. Barrier is an appreciated ability for sure. It stops the first instance of any damage this guy would take. The main weaknesses Barrier has though is that it's weak to ping effects, which are cards that deal only one damage and it doesn't protect the unit from being recalled back to hand or from hard removal cards that just kill units outright without damaging them. We're talking cards like Calling Strike and Vengeance. Ultimately, I don't think this quite makes it into a deck wanting to use Quinn and other scout cards, especially if we get better three drops than this with scout. I think elite tribal decks themselves would need more enabler type cards that are cheap like Battlesmith if this were ever to make it into an elite deck. Not slow clunky cards like reinforcements. Next, let's talk about Great Horn Companion. I won't say much on this card. I think it doesn't quite get there because its stat line of four or five is a bit too small for a five drop. It's kind of like they took Bull Elnuk and added Scout to it, but increased the mana cost by one. I don't think Scout alone is worth one whole mana, if that's the case. As powerful as Scout can be in a vacuum. We'll need to see what the rest of the set has to offer for Scout, but right now it feels like this thing needs Challenger as well to really push it over the top. There was also a spell called Blinding Assault that was revealed that just summons Valor when you play it for two mana. From what I can tell, this is not the name of Quinn's skill because Quinn's ability doesn't have a skill icon next to it. So this looks like a standalone card. I won't spend much time on this one either, as I don't think it's very good. Not when we have Fleet Feather Tracker for one mana, and an easy requirement for Demacia to meet. The fact that this is a slow spell makes it even worse. Maybe this finds a home in a more spell-based Demacia deck like Lux Heimerdinger Control. The art is cool though. Finally, let's talk about how Quinn and Scout as a whole can affect the metagame and where Quinn might work best. First, I'll say that I seriously doubt Quinn will fit into existing Bannerman decks, even if they don't see any type of nerf and the deck continues to be one of the top three decks in set two. The deck is already packed with five drops. Quinn would have to compete with Garen and Swiftwing Lancer. So the chances we'll see a Quinn Bannerman deck that's tier one are pretty low, I'd say. The more likely scenario is that there'll be some type of Demacia mid-range deck that focuses more on scout units. Not necessarily the near mono Demacia decks we have now that rely on the Allegiance ability from Bannerman, but more of an even split between Demacia and whatever second region scout decks will end up using. This Demacia scout deck might even end up being an aggro deck with Quinn at the top of the mana curve. Scout is a very aggressive mechanic that's tied into Rally, if you think about it. Speaking of which, scout as an ability actually concerns me. I think it has the potential to be a bit too powerful. It does have limitations compared to Rally. In fact, it almost feels like a more balanced version of Rally. That said, the impact of Scout will depend on the quality of Scout units we get in this next set. If we get enough Scout cards that are all powerful, we could see Scout decks take over the meta and not in a good way. We all saw how powerful Relentless Pursuit could be in the fearsome mid-range decks that ran Hecarim and Wraithcaller to abuse Allegiance. So I'm a little concerned, but again, we haven't seen any other cards yet. So it's way too early to say whether Scout will be broken or underpowered or just fine as a mechanic. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, feel free to like the video below or even share it with others. Both help to get the video out there to others in the community here on YouTube. I'll be looking to cover more of the new cards as they're spoiled over the next few weeks. So if you don't want to miss those videos or any other videos I put out, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon. And feel free to follow me at the other social media places I hang out at. You can catch me streaming Runeterra live on Twitch, as well as hanging out on Twitter and even my own Discord. Links to all of those are in the video description. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this, and I'll see you next time. Take care.